my morning knitting time. I'm running a little bit late this morning, but um, I thought, I know I recorded in my car just two days ago, but I don't know if that format's gonna work every single week. So I thought I might try a couple of different formats. So this week I'm going to record while I'm knitting every morning before work. Um, I already know from experience last week, I ended up not knitting for two mornings because I ended up going, mm, sleep is more important this morning. But we'll wait and see how we go this week. Um, I had an incredibly eventful weekend and I've got another one coming up this weekend. Um, it was an amazing weekend. Uh, my youngest thoroughly enjoyed her gymnastics, which I'm pretty sure I already mentioned. Um, she then did tap jazz and ballet and she's decided she's going to do her ballet assessment again this year. Oh my gosh, I'm tangled. Take that down. Um, because we've got the forms for that on Saturday after I picked her up. Um, and then on Sunday, that's Chippy having a good old scratch. On Sunday, we got up a few things took bear to her first ever soccer match it was an intense game i thought i took my knitting with me i took my jumper um just because i'm knitting in the round at the moment so it's the perfect project to take along and i didn't touch it once because even though it was a bunch of under 10s playing it was intense it was like watching a legit soccer match there was elbows there was tackles there was um oh the our goalie in the second half my daughter played goalie for the first half and the other team wasn't they didn't try to score a lot but they went hard in the second half i think because they realized that <laughs> it our team's not very well trained but they were doing quite well um and the other team seemed to realize that because the coach was full on. And um, <laughs> they ended up playing a lot harder in the second half. And um, thankfully, the goalie that we had on in the second half was all over it. She ended up winning um, best player of the match because, wow, she was so good. Um, we were all on the sidelines screaming our name and cheering along because she was stopping every single ball that went near them, near her, sorry. How cute is my mug? It was a little gift set thing I got um, from a friend. It was absolutely gorgeous. I found my notebook. It was actually just on a chair here at home. So these are my notes I've been taking for the overalls so this is the first leg and then I'm just going through and crossing it off again for the second leg so I found out that I was up to a knit round now I'm up to a decrease <sighs> so I don't think I'm going to talk much more this morning because I need to drink my coffee and eat my toast while I'm also knitting and given I've only got 15 minutes of knitting time I think I'm just going to turn this into a time lapse. That way I can do all the things I need to do um, without it being slow. See you tomorrow morning. <laughs> jump on here but I wanted to show you something absolutely amazing you're very far away this morning come here just stuff that's far away but that's okay I've got room to show you a practically finished object so I had been working on these all week and I finally got them finished mostly uh, last night these are my on the go rules 
by Heidi Lemon. Ah, they're like finished. It's kind of hard to show you the straps because I don't have buttons on yet. So I can't just like hold them up. But how cute are they? Oh my God. I'm in love. These are so much fun to knit. I did have some issues with the pattern, which the pattern designer herself has admitted to. Um, and apparently there's uh, some way you can go to find adjustments that were made, but the link was broken. So I just did the best I could. Um, I think I mentioned last time, I'm not a very visual knitter, so I couldn't picture how these were going to happen before I knit them. But as I knit them, I just took a giant leap of faith, faith and went with it and it worked out somehow, I don't know. Um, I did put notes on my Ravelry project page just so if I make them again, which I probably will because these were very easy to make, um, I'll know what to do for next time. So that worked out nicely. They're just so beautiful. So I just need to add some buttons. That's why I've left these um, ends on here. So I've got to add some buttons to the end of the straps. And then I'm going to be finished because look, I made buttonholes for the first time. How cool is that? Actually, no, I don't think it's the first time. I think I made them before when I made a cotton top for my daughter when she was very, very little. But it's my first time doing it in a pattern like this. This is very cool. Um, I used one and a teeny tiny bit of... Um, what happened is I finished off the skein. It was perfect. I finished the skein up as I got to the straps. I was like, brilliant, I'll just use a little bit to do the straps, but you have to knit both straps at the same time, and I couldn't find the other end of one skein, so I just used the ends from two different ones. So I've used a teeny tiny bit from each of those, I'll weigh them so I know how much I've used and how much I've got left over. Um, and now I've got to decide if I want to make like a matching beanie and booties, I think I will, because this is right up their alley for the colours they're choosing. I also grabbed some like brownish colored like a lighter brown colored um 12 ply acrylic from spotlight last time i was there because i thought i might want to make booties or yeah something like that out of that because i thought it'd be quite cute with this but um i mean we'll just make it in both and we'll see how we go you can never have too many hair knits i didn't have many with my kids mostly because one was born in summer um but and also because i didn't know how to do this stuff when i was pregnant so if i had my Children's wardrobe would have looked at them vastly different. Um, I guess I could show you project uh, progress on a couple of other things that I've done. I was interrupted by my alarm. Uh, this is the blanket that I'm making for the same baby the ovals are for. So I've only made that much progress since the last time I showed you. So I'll remove that now because now that I've finished the overalls, I just have to put buttons on. I'll, um, this will be my, uh, my stitch marker just broke. So annoying. I'll um, swap to the blanket and make that my priority knitting. I wonder if Hubby can fix that. I think it's just a clamp. I think you'll be able to... Oh no, it looks like it's completely disintegrated. That. Being cranky. Not really. Things happen, but it was woody. Alright, I'll just grab a light bulb marker from in here so I can mark my progress. Oh, no, I want a green one. It's Jasmine. Hey, chippy boy. The doggies are watching me. They're my captive audience. Alright, mark where I'm up to and hopefully the next time I show you this will be quite a lot of progress. I don't think I've sat down to do one of these since last Monday. I did not record in my car on the weekend because I actually had a kid with me because we had a full-on weekend. It was lovely though. I will tell you about that momentarily. Oh, that first mouthful of coffee hits different. Mm. So yes, I need to make more, pro more effort on this. Um, that's how much I got done from one skein of yarn. And I bought 10, so it should be a decent sized blanket. And this morning, since I've actually finished an object, I thought I would do some selfish knitting and that's why I have my jumper sitting here. I don't think I've made much progress on this since the last time. Oh, 
it's a hefty bit actually. So surely that's I haven't knit that much since the last time I spoke to you. No, I just didn't move my stitch marker. I'll do that now. Storage cut out. Basically, I just moved my stitch marker and I'm gonna knit on this while I tell you about my weekend. Um Saturday, we did our usual running around with extracurricular. So we had ballet, tap, jazz, gymnastics, swimming, the whole wax. Um, I just sat in my car during gymnastics this week and just knit on the ovals because I just, I'm allowed to go in and watch every week, but I don't need to, it's fine. Um, I kind of regret it afterwards though because I found out that Bunny had actually done rope climbing and I would have paid good money to watch her do that. Um, and then I had my eldest daughter in the car with me. We went and hung out at the park, actually, that's next to ballet, while my youngest did dancing. Um, I also then had to drop them at my mum's and I took an offering of coffee to be like, hello, thank you for watching my offspring, because then I came back home to get ready for uh, my work wifey's engagement party. Uh, she has asked, I think I've mentioned she's asked me to be her maid of honour and so I wore like a beautiful red dress because red's her favourite colour and we got all dressed up and I felt pretty and my hair's still sitting nicely from it so yay. Um, I could probably pop a picture in here I guess and yeah we had a beautiful night. I had a, I am very sore actually all the muscles in my body are aching because I was participating in a dance class run by a seven-year-old. I got a report card and everything, but by the end of the night, I was crowned a dancing queen. So I was very happy with my efforts. Um, I had an absolute blast. There's nothing like a seven-year-old to make you feel less um, self-conscious about yourself when you're dancing. Uh, today it's back to work. I just, I need a day to recover. It was a lot of socializing. Cause then on Sunday, we also had to get up and go grab our daughters and we took our eldest to her soccer match um, they got absolutely annihilated it was like 13 to 1 or something like that but our daughter actually got best player of the match because it is for every match they play uh, she got play best player of the match she was just so on the ball pun intended uh, yesterday she was darting forward she normally plays defense she was darting forward and booting the ball back to the other end of the ground and she was just not afraid to get into it today which is fantastic to see um, yeah, I didn't realize how into under 10 soccer I would get. I take this with me every single Sunday and I'm yet to knit a stitch on it while I watch them play. Uh, this week it's just continuing on with stuff for reports at school. Um, just trying to keep my head above water so I don't drown. And yeah, it's, it is what it is. It's just life at the moment. I'm gonna swap to a time lapse and drink my coffee, eat my breakfast, do a bit more knitting, and then go get my kids up. I probably should have them up already, but it was a big weekend. They can have a little teeny tiny sleep in, and I can have a few more minutes of peace. Mm -hmm.